Hey everybody, this is Joe, Joe's Premium Firewood, coming to you live on Friday, November 3rd, 2023. A beautiful day compared to the last couple days, no snow like on Tuesday. And I'm out here and I got a customer that ordered oak and hickory. Well, here's the oak right here. And to get a half cord into my truck, I'm going to have to stack it in there, and you can see I cleaned out most of the debris, but I'm going to, I'm going to put uh, three rows, put three rows of this oak, and then I'm going to go down and, and top it off with hickory down there, and uh, so I just talked to the customer, he just wants it dumped out, I know there was a, whenever I post a picture of, of wood being thro thrown on the ground, people say, why don't you stack it, customer told me to dump it, but anyway, you can see I'll show you these pieces right here that when uh, Nate brought this here in in uh, April you can see it had no bark on it and this is some beautiful clean wood and he's paying my price Rogala he's gonna pay my price but I'm a little bit worried you can see how it's kind of leaning when I start taking those pieces I'm worried about it falling over backwards so I'm gonna have to be careful on how I load it. But uh, there's uh, Denise Williams was watching. So I'm going to be throwing it in there. If you want to watch a splitting video, I'll be splitting them out for my delivery tomorrow. But I told him, I go, if you want if you want a restaurant grade wood, you're going to pay restaurant prices. He said, okay. So I told him, I told him $300 for a half cord delivered and dumped out in uh wherever he, wherever he wants me to back up the trailer so i mean the truck the trailer's full of wood and i've been having a couple close calls the other day with the with the uh the latch where i forgot to put it down and then the pin fell out the, that locks the locking pin in so not messing with that today it's all going in the truck but we're you know and i know there's going to be people say oh, you can't fit a half cord in there well i'm going to post a video that um chris in the woodyard made on his youtube channel and he is telling you how much wood can get into a truck. And I, like I say, I'm going to be stacking it. I'm going to be stacking it, you know, the front up to about there. There's my Rogala gloves up to about there. And, you know, I'm going to get three rows of oak in here. And then then I'll have a, a row of uh, hickory in the back. And then I'll go sideways. But I'm not going to film that because it's going to be too difficult moving down there. So... Anyway, I'm gonna. There's Billy Otis. I got my drink in the, in the truck for my union break. I'm ready to go. But first, I gotta do some work. I gotta do some work first. So, yeah, I know it's another loading video, but this is the time of year. I, all I'm doing, Randy Clay's deliveries. You know, I gotta get money coming in because I got money going out. Phil's gonna have another load for me on uh on by Sunday so but Monday looks like a rain day more Rogala rain so I got to work what I can and and I got deliver I did deliver yesterday I got one today I got one tomorrow I got one Monday the guy I delivered to yesterday said he wants another load uh, by next weekend so so that's what it what October means delivery so I don't have time to go run a saw. Yeah, like I say, look at look at this wood, and, it, and it's lightweight. All you sell is junk. All you sell is junk, rotted junk. You know, I, I know I. I mock my haters, but they probably don't even they probably don't even watch these live streams. But that top I just took off here, you know, this is racks like this is like four foot high, and that that uh, top is uh, that cover is about ten feet long. So, I mean, that's like a Joe cord right there. But I don't know if I'm gonna get all of this. I'm just gonna work my way down that way. But man, these these pieces feel light. They feel, uh, you know, like I say, dry. They're solid. They've been sitting there for since it's been here since um, April, with it covered up, and you got wind going through. No, 
if the rain gets on, it's only on the sides. This is how you got to do the customer's job, which I believe, you know, the customers need to step up and help me out with the drying. Because this, this is their job right here, just having to sit, but at their property. But I will dry some. I'll dry what I can. But in the meantime, I have to go out and get ash or, or whatever trees. You, you know, you can find oak that's dry. As long as it's barkless and standing, not too big a diameter. Now, towards the, towards the trunk of the tree, it holds more moisture. But I'm just throwing these in right now. So it's, it's a lot easier to load load the truck when it's stacked wood compared to picking them up uh, off a pile some of these are 18 but I know I know they're gonna love this stuff I mean let's let's do that you hear that you hear that crack dry it's dry. It's not green. Oh, you're so green, wood. You're so green, wood. Is uh, Brad Brad McGurk here? Did he show up yet, Mr. Firewood at the furnace? I wanted to wish him, uh, him and Val, his bride, happy anniversary. I believe it's number 16. They've been married 16 years. So if you see Brad, if he stops in here, be sure to wish him ha happy anniversary. So, in a minute here, I'm going to have to st take a break take and start stacking it. Because that, like I said, that's the only way I'm going to get a half cord in here. You know, I can get a Joe cord, but, you know, half cord's an extra 50 pieces. And the only way to fit them in is by stacking. But, uh, like I say, I gotta, I, I'm going to top it off with hickory. I'll probably take this Joe cord right here. That's right here, and uh, but then I'm gonna go down and, and and get the hickories, but I'm not gonna film that. You agree it's dry? Is there any haters watching? Hope you hear that. So then I gotta stop and stack, but I'm charging them. If you missed the beginning delivered and they're they're about this is to go like two this is my fifth delivery fifth delivery in two weeks there these guys are by the country club and uh i'm charging them 250 dollars for the wood because they're paying they're getting restaurant grade wood restaurant grade quality they're gonna pay restaurant prices because when I get a restaurant that calls me and says, oh, we need a milk for my my uh, pizza oven, I'll say, sorry, somebody already bought it. First come, first serve. And I can only dry, can only dry so much here in Oak Alley. Very limited of what I can do. Get what I can reach. But like I say, that whole stack there, That'll that'll all come in, I'm, but I'm gonna have to angle it. But I'll have this oak if if uh, other people want, I can mix it in. So I gotta go over to this side and stack. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, I don't I don't like doing this either. I'd rather just use the trailer and throw it in. A thrown in a uh, load in the trailer is a half cord. <sighs> But then you get all the, like I say, I'll take a picture of the load and all the haters will be like, that's not even a Rick. I'm like, who's Rick? Rick Bragola? A Rick, a Rick of firewood. Sorry, we don't say that up up here. We don't call it Rick. We call it face cord or third of cord. Like I say, I'm packing these in here tight. Oh, this is some beautiful firewood, but like I say, to get this quality of wood, you're gonna pay. You're ripping them off. You're ripping them off. Yeah, the customer was so ripped off they gave me a tip. They felt so bad that they got ripped off. 
they felt that they had to give me a tip for stacking or whatever just just because the wood's so nice but I hate like I said I hate to see this go but I'm sure Mike says he's got access to a bunch of oak and he can replace it but uh, at, right now I kind of need him I kind of need him to be bringing me ash and stuff I can sell right away because uh, I don't know I got some more another rack back there so I got after this I'll probably have about one quart of seasoned oak left and then whatever I got whatever I got in bay one and bay two which isn't very much see all that throwing I did doesn't even isn't even going to fill up the first row but like I say I'm going to go up to about about a foot at least a foot above I mean, this is one of the easier jobs for firewood, but it's still, it's still work. Nate split some of these big. I think they used, uh, maybe, no, they didn't use the four-way, now I think about it, when him and uh, Josh split this back in April. But getting this side down first, because it's lean and I just had one piece fall but one piece is better than the whole pile I think they're saying it's going to be up to like 60 today I don't, this is the first day since uh, last Friday that mom hasn't had a fire nice to do this when you have somebody helping you you know one one guy can work on one side and somebody work on the other side yeah these smaller ones boy they're gonna love this stuff down to the ones I got to reach down for these lower ones uh, I think I might take some of them spikes and start pounding them down in here the ones that I don't use for my new storage area I got to admit though Nate Nate is a good stacker of wood he does these chimneys real nice although it was lean and that way a little bit. I'll throw in a piece of kindling. Oh. Picking these ones off the ground. That's, that's when you know you're old. Oh, good. I put, yeah, we put four, uh, two by fours on the ground. Keep it off the dirt. One thing you got to do keep the chain out of the dirt and keep the wood out of the dirt. Some of these are 18, but that's okay. It's a 16 inch long average. <laughs> All right. Back to stacking. <sighs> this might be the nicest wood I've ever sold. It's just, you know, it truly seasoned. Sell stuff that is uh, ready to burn, like ash. I'll sell that. Make sure you hit that. But you can find trees that are in the woods that are ready to burn. I know you can. I know we got 34 watching. 34 watching. 
It's not bad. Like watching me work. Yeah, how does this compare to the King of Firewoods wood that's cut, that, that are like pieces for my mom, and then there's pieces that are over two feet long? I'm glad I'm glad when I asked them all do I need a wheelbarrow no even though I charge them like I don't know at least forty dollars an hour to wheelbarrow it maybe sixty all depends on what the situation's like if it's downhill or uphill so I've had to I've had to wheelbarrow uphill before I know firewood at the furnace makes wood that this firewood this good. He's got that. Now he's got that uh what is it? The uh access, he's the made access, that vertical splitter. And then you know, you don't use the multi wedges and you're not getting uh so much scrap, so many little pieces of kindling. Get rid of that bark. You know, you see the bark falling off, you know it's dry. You know what I really wanted to do with this stuff is just like save it like do a load like maybe two ro or two rows in the front and then put some wet stuff in the back and then uh, stack the wet stuff on the bottom put this stuff on top by the time they get to the wet stuff it'll be dry but uh not happen I always I always got to think about that you know when we get into this time of year start running out of wood fast start running out of the dry wood fast Everybody orders at the same time instead of help me out ordering early. You know, I really should charge even extra, even more than I am. I'm getting three hundred dollars for this load delivered, but about 15, 15, 16 miles away, maybe seventeen. But if I if I have to put it out here and then let it set for a year. You know, have all the money tied up into this. I had to, you know, I had to pay Nate. I think I paid Nate for the whole row. Split delivered, and he brought it here, and then he used my splitter to split it. I think I, I think I paid him two hundred for it, something like that. You know, if I sold the whole thing, I probably would have wanted like 350. But they're only getting uh, two rows. That first row's full. I don't know. Maybe I'll throw one more little one up there. You know. But there you go. So I'm gonna do two more rows of this oak, and then I'm gonna drive down to the driveway where my hickory is. And just put a put put it in the back here. I don't think the hickory's as dry as this, so I'm gonna let them know. You know, burn the burn the oak first, or try to keep it separate. I'll, when I throw it out, I'll throw the hickory in one pile, and the oak in another. And then just say, you know, the, give the hickory more time to dry, or get the fire going with the oak, and then mix some of the hickory in. Here we go back to throwing. I think when I get that row done, I should be able to reach in and stack uh, stack the third row by, without having to throw it in there. It's all this double handling. You know, but one good thing about doing it like this, and I know Br when Brad does his delivery, most of his deliveries, he splits it and stacks it in rows, and then they throw it into the truck and you get minimal debris. But when you're a when you're running it off, off his uh, like 1222, off that Easton made processor, and even though it has a little gate at the end of the conveyor, you're still, you're still getting a lot of debris that goes in there. And then when it gets dumped out of the customers, there's just a huge pile of debris. But you know the bigger pieces can be used for kindling. And people, you know, another thing the haters say, oh, 
You're just selling kindling. Look at that, it's per perfect. You know? God, I've never felt, man, oak this light. Isn't that a pretty sound? Probably the sharpest crack I've ever heard. It's green. It's green. I know the haters that ridicule me probably aren't watching this right now. I like to mock them. But, you know, because I leave them negative comments or, you know, I give them hell when they give me hell. I know I'm supposed to ignore them. But been on been having haters since I started my page or since like 2011 and uh, I never uh, not ignored them so that's why I spent about two years in Facebook jail when I put the hickory on the back should be able to back right up to that and just do it in. I knew this was going to be a little bit harder. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the Incredible Hulk there. Remember, the stack was 10 foot by 4 foot. And uh, I'm still going uh, going a ways. So I'm going to get most of this in here. People wonder why I don't go out and cut more now that my health is somewhat better and back to like 50%. I can still work, I can work now, but so busy doing deliveries, I don't got time to go and do that. You know, this delivery alone, look how much time I already got into it. And you get your drive time. Now the time it takes to throw it out and I got to drive back up here. And by then I'm worn out. It'll be, I'm not even going to bother posting a picture of it. Just because uh, I just get too much hate. I might do it in the comments of all of this video. Then everybody, you know, or all the haters will be like, that's not even a face cord. Like I say, Chris in the Woodyard made a video of how much wood goes into a pickup truck load, and that's how he's been delivering it. He's been doing it longer than I have. He's did thousands and thousands of truck loads. I would think he knows how much wood is in there where I've only probably delivered maybe 2,000 loads since 2011. Only 2,000. That's what, one a day for what, four years in a row? About. Can't go as high here, girl. I got this uh, headache wreck my buddy Daryl hooked me up with. And uh, so I can't go as high, but I'm still going to, you know, in the center get it, but out on the edge, I can't go as high there. You know, it, it's hard. It's hard to tell how much firewood. If you just look at a thrown a thrown pile, it's hard to tell how much wood is there. You, you really don't know until you stick it. And, uh, you know, if you're just joining us, you can join. You know, you can uh, 
check out the start of the video, watch a replay, and see the, the stack before I started unload, uh, you know, taking wood from it. Yeah, another reason, I, you know, I could have planned this out where I used the trailer, but I, this is a, at a new, it's a loyal customer, but they said it's, it's a new house. He's actually like next door to a, another one of my customers. And uh, I don't know what the backing up situation would be like if I was using the trailer. So I'm just going to, I just decided to use my truck. Plus I'm, you know, loading off a stack, stack, stack it from a stack, not picking up pieces off the ground and then having to stack it. I'm gonna have to do a few more in this row. But this should fill up a 12 foot, you know, what a, a half cord is. A, a full cord is three rows, you know, 16 inches, three rows. Uh, eight foot long by four foot tall cut 16 inches that is one face cord it takes three face cords to make a cord or a full cord so if you did three face cords in a straight line that would be 24 feet long so what's 24 divided by two I, I think it's 12 but you know haters haters won't know they they failed first grade math. They don't you know they don't know what cubic feet is. All right, uh, probably get a few more in there, and then I'm gonna start the third and final row for the soak. Uh, you know I don't want them rolling out. looking where a spot where it would lock up another piece and hold it in place you know I used to take loads like this in my red truck my red truck was beat to hell on the inside it was sunk down about three inches and so I probably even got more into that I know this this wood is looking good. I bet you guys would like this. I know Denise Williams would, Judy Krell. They'd like this firewood. They know what premium firewood is. Haters don't. Oh, Henry! Henry Chima watching. I don't know, sometimes Henry's nice and sometimes he's a hater. And he's a, I think he's one of Rogala's buddies. There we go. Now I don't have to throw him in and walk to the side. And I'm, I'm putting them in into each other so they fit tight. Man, what do you think, Billy Otis? Is it time for a union break? Almost time for a union break. But I'm, get, I'm getting so close. I just want to get this job done. You know, whether I move at breakneck speed or if I just take my time myself. I'm getting paid $300 for this either way. So, you know, why exert, exert myself like that? You know, I'm getting paid by the job. I take all day, I'm only getting $300. But, you know, when the haters say I'm moving too slow, I like to tell them I pay myself by the hour. I don't want to work myself out of a job. And I, 
and I do get calls in the middle of winter and people want oak season like this like it's gonna it's like anybody's gonna have it something this nice you know but I, I should save it and then just tell them like 500 for a load I also tell them you should have ordered it two years ago if you want two years seasoned oak you find a spot to put it well, I'll, I'll even stack it for you for 40 bucks half that's what I told these guys I told I told uh, told him the customer I said uh, I'll back up to where you want it I'll stack it for 40 bucks or if you help me I'll do it for 20 or I can throw it out for free he said throw it out so hopefully somebody's watching that doesn't you know it's just ignorant people that don't know anything about firewood I, and I do get people on there that uh, that defend me that have sold firewood before there's one guy said you know I drive in with my dump truck I dump it and leave and if they want it stacked I charge him a, a lot of money because he hates doing it you know and I've probably handled over a million pieces of firewood in my lifetime and I know what he means you know I, I, but what I hate the most is stacking it here like I did yesterday's video move that move that forty dollars worth of wood for my brother I'm not getting paid for that took me a half hour of my time to transfer it and I don't get paid any extra for it BS I call BS on that one but it's the only way you're gonna dry this it's got to be stacked in single rows and it's getting harder and harder to find dry wood you know you got we always got to find different properties to cut on and have somebody who don't, you don't know allow you to work in their woods as dangerous a job as this is you know Mike's never been hurt oh, you're gonna die you're gonna die Mike doesn't know what he's doing so I got just about a joke cord in there right now like I say this last row right here I'm gonna drive down and get hickory and it'll be a half cord Hopefully I can get it enough right here. I don't have to uncover uncover that bit that I got there. This should do it. What's left on the ground right in front of me. But tomorrow, I got for uh, was it Saturday, I got to do the delivery to the customer I did a couple weeks ago where I did do a live stream from inside their garage on that rainy day. They're getting their second load. So I'm going to split like half the wood that's in the uh, trailer right now and then load the rest from bay number one. Or I might take some for my brother. I don't know. Might mix some of his in there too. If I can find enough of it, it's decent enough to ship. Keep finding spiders in here. I know Denise, this is just a baby. I know Denise is scared of him, Judy. I don't kill them. They kill bugs that annoy me. Even if I find a big one, you know, that was just a baby. I let them live. Same with snakes. I like snakes too. They don't. I mean, sometimes they'll startle me when you like pick up a piece of wood and you're not expecting to see one, and there it is, and it looks like a black mamba. Kind of startles you. I know Judy wouldn't like that. 
Denise either. But I think uh, Colleen and Stacy, they're not scared of, they're not scared. They're not scared of, of snakes and spiders. Uh, we're just about done. And like I say, where this Joe cord just was, it's in the truck. And, it, and you can just, like I say, go back to the beginning and look at the stack. It went all the way out 10 feet. 10 foot by 4 foot, Joe cord. You know, if I if I would have, that bark comes right off. If I would have just thrown all this wood in here, it would be you know, to the same height, but like this would be the Joe cord. You know, I would grab a few more pieces. So that just shows you by stacking, you get uh, you get more in there. Cause, I mean, obviously you got this gap right here. But the Joe Corps would be basically up to that high down to here, just like this. But it would be thrown in here. But the whole truck would be full. You know, I, I present, I present the truth every time how much wood it is to the haters. I've even had live streams unedited of me sticking one, a Joe Cord, and measuring it. And they still say it's not a Joe Cord. It's that 10 foot by 4 foot. So, there, you know, so what's the saying? Ignorance is bliss. That definitely applies to the haters. And if you, you don't like me talk about the haters, I know some people get tired of it, but... Like I say, I want them to bitch it so they, they know and they can hear me ridicule them. Oh, there goes the fire truck or volunteer fireman. Yeah, that's a fire truck. You hear the siren? You hear them? Hopefully that happened. Usually it's not a good thing when you hear that. I think we're just about there. Really don't see much more room. So, I gotta take a union break and I'm not done yet. I'm going to be putting in the rest of it. I'm gonna drive seven, 16, 17 miles and get paid $300. We'll show you the wood up close. You tell me if you think it's, you think it's good. Oh, there's Chadwick. Hey, 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 hey look at this. Check this out. Look how nice this is. There's your oak. Right there. There's your oak. There's your oak. There's what I got left. But I gotta go down there and get the rest get the rest of it. But probably the nicest wood I've ever made. Sold. Look at it. <laughs> yeah, no. It's all in there. Like I say, you're going to get it one more roll. The hickory's going in next. So, there it is. You know, I'm uh, three quarters of the way done. I'm going to top this off with some oak. I mean, uh, hickory. And uh, get her delivered on time. It might be a little bit after 12 when I get there. You know, I kind of started late. So, all right, folks. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks to everybody who watched it to the end. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a great weekend.